Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Shiny Riker channel. Now I'm going to go through my Pendulum Magician deck and it's going to be Azathoth Turbo. Now I'm just going to run through the deck real quick and stop at key points that I know you guys wouldn't be familiar with. Now Triple Harmonizing, 2 Fang, 2 Poison. Um, I really feel like to cut this down to 1 but at the same time it's literally like my only out to Natural Beast, which has been summoned a lot more often, especially with zombie players having easy access to it. Um, Crusadial, there are a lot of decks that can summon Natural Beast against you, and you don't really have a lot of main deck outs. Most Pendulum players that are inexperienced will scoop immediately when you shouldn't. Um, you have a few built in outs that I'm going to show you. So then we have Triple Wisdom, 2 O, Shianke, Pit and Time Gazer. That runs it up for all the magicians. Now, moving on to your turbos, you have Triple Chrono, Triple, Dark Worm, two Gazers to go with them, Triple, Master Cerberus, two Jackal Kings to go with it, Curtain Razor, um, that is what I plan to put in more of just even one one is really good um, Because at the end of the day if you pendulum someone your level 7 at the first attempt You won't need a high scale of being 8 anymore 7 is fine because at that point you're only going to pendulum 6 um, So it's really good in that aspect and for the only non pendulum monsters we have one of each phantom knight boots and cloak now they have graveyard effects which are very important um, because the whole deck is dark and these cards were actually played by the main protagonist after a while after they fused together you, you guys have to watch anime if you understand um, they have great synergy with the deck being all darks I can make we apprentice witch um, this is a free special summon if I control a phantom knight but because this isn't a phantom knight deck that won't pop up a lot however with cloak is that it's going to give your monster 800 attack bonus might not come up might not be necessary might not even use it however what's important is their graveyard effect when you send them with the link monster and they give you a free search now both of them are hard once per turn so you can't play two of the same however cloak searches for any phantom knight card while this searches for a spell and trap so in my opinion cloak is better but people say boots is better but i'm saying boots is only better in a phantom knight deck because i'm not going to have any phantom knights up Moving on for your spells, we have Triple Pendulum Call, Foolish Burial, Two Shrine, The Rank of Magic, Launch, then we have Shade Brigade, apologies, Brigadine, and Fog Blade. Now, if you don't really want to play the Azathoth version, you could just simply place in two Fog Blades and possibly take these out, as it will increase consistency. But as it relates to that, um, because this gives me a free XCs, it's really nice. It cannot be Typhoon because it no longer treats itself as a trap card, which is really good. And because I'm not going to have any trap cards in Grave, it's always live. Then Fog Blade is really good, of course. But the thing is to it, if you see the thing is what I'm doing, it's so filthy and dirty. I'm not going to really need any monster negates because it's not like my opponent going to can activate monsters. Not to say this isn't a bad card to have a, as a plan B. Moving on to the extra deck, we have Vortex, Dragster, Clearwing, Nightmare, Duello, Time Thief, Redoor. Um, it's really essential to play this card. It makes the combo so much easier to do because it detaches both materials whenever it wants to. Then we have Anti-Luminescent Knight, Dark Rebellion, Absolute, as I thought, um, which is our main point of the deck, we're just going to summon this going first. So it locks out monster effects from our opponent for the entire of their turn. So we're going to hit them for six in our turn. So just straight home runs. Then we have Underclock Taker, one Wii Apprentice Witch. And most persons don't play this card in their build and it's really bad. It shows that your mind is limited because this card is beyond amazing. Um, just by summoning this, let's just say you break and you summon this. You can always bring it back with Black Fang and any of your other Dark Monsters, which is basically a whole main deck, goes into Brigadine. Apologies, Rusty Barak. 
So it's like free. It brings you more than halfway to the journey. And people just don't play it because their mind is limited because you see other people playing different things so you want to play what they play. No, this is really good for the deck. And I'm not even going to push the issue any further with this. If you don't try, that's up to you. Then we have one Electromite, Rusty, and Deco Talker. And that rounds it up for the extra deck. Now the main focus of the deck is that you're going to summon as a thought in your opponent's turn. I've already showed the combo video. The thing is with Time Thief Redoor is that you can detach all its materials so that you can Phantom Launch. If you're not aware, Phantom Launch requires for the monster to have no materials for you to be able to rank it up. That is why this is easier as most of your other stuff are going to keep a one material. Now, you're not limited to doing it with Time Thief Redoor, but as I said, the card has to have no material. So it has to be a rank 4 exceed. So you can use a lot of options here. Um, there's also the King Cali version, which I really, really love. I like, really like it. But in my personal experience with testing, it just doesn't work out. I have played 20 duels and only have been successful three times. Every single time that I attempt, I get ashed or ogred. Like, who the hell main decks ogres? I might go in first and then main deck in ogre. Or I just don't win the dice roll and I don't get to get the combo off. Or there's always something that comes up. I can get impermanence on the Electronite and you just don't end up making the King Kali. And that's what I was saying to persons. The Kali version is better. The reason why is that I don't have anything to worry about when it regards my opponent's turn. The most they can do is graveyard effects, right? So you just make a dweller beside the Kali and you just hit that. And you're going to hit them for six in your turn because they can't stop you from attacking them for game. King Kali is already at three, five. And let's just say they got rid of your Rusty. Um, what you can do is summon We Apprentice Mid Witch and boost Kali to 4000 and this is already 1900 so it's almost game already. Um, one problem with the deck, it, you see because it's only that they can't activate monster effects, they can still use spell and traps, they can still dark hole you, they can kaiju slumber, they can do a lot of things to you, right? So you need to set up negations that will slow them down. Example, these two. If you protect them with this, you should be no problem at all whatsoever. And there are a few weaknesses to this. Uh, this card can be stopped easily. Uh, most people aren't aware, but I'm just going to let you guys know. Um, any back row removal that can be used in the draw phase or a standby example Twin Twistle works on it. Now, I play counters to that. First of all, these two are here. Then I play Anti-Illuminescent Knight. So that's a completely eliminating factor right there. Because I can always change the target. Now, if they're Twin Twistle, that's it. You can't do anything because Cargo Gun said only if they target one. So you definitely need one of these. However, there are other outs. Example, they just kaiju you because this can only be activated at the start of the main phase and your opponent has player turn priority. So you have to wait till they take a first action. So if they kaiju you, over. If they do anything else, you can really hurt them. Another card that can get you out of this bind is Denko Cycle. Just summon Denko. Boom, it prevents all of this right away, just in case your opponent plans to do the same to you. Um, overall, I feel it's really nice. I really have fun enjoying doing this to people. It's not nice for them, can tell you that. But there are legit ways out. Your opponent can play their way out. If there's a Thunder Dragon player, if they use a hand effect immediately, they're in the clear. You'd need Vortex beside it to negate it, then chain this. To make your other thoughts so they can't use any more monster effects for that turn um so there is genuine outs and king kelly has outs as i said if someone finds a ash velo and the thing is to it that i'm playing through ash and velo and still setting up this board with the as a thought so i prefer the rank 4 version if you want to play the king kelly one it's not really much of a difference all you have to do is play your other eyes pendulum exceed monsters and anyone can do it for you however if you get stopped just know that there is no plan b that's two cards in your extra deck that cannot be used any at all and at least with this way you have some rank four exceeds that are dark that you can use it on 
So if they run out of material, you can always make the azathoth with them. So your azathoth has options. So that's just it. So thanks guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Have a great day. Peace.